what's up? It's Kia. You are kicking it with Kia slash caught in the car with Kia. Um, I am heading out to a dance class. This course I've been dying to take with this Brazilian teacher uh, who teaches Zouk, but no one gives a shit about that. Uh, this quick video is going to be about the follow-up interview with Gail King on CBS This Morning with Azriel Clary and um, Joyce Lynn Savage. And this is the interview that a lot of people were dying to see because everybody wanted to see, okay, well, how are they going to react and how are they going to look? Are they going to look healthy? Or what are they going to say? It was, it was very one of those, you got to watch, you got to see. And let me tell y'all, it was must-see TV. Those girls vehemently support him. Like, hands down, point blank period, the whole nine, down like four flat tires, support him. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And it almost, it gets to the point where it's almost sad because then they start accusing their parents. As they both accuse, accuse their parents of the same accusation, that their parents are after money and that their parents kind of gave them away and that neither one of them wanted to be singers. Even though in the documentary, we see both of them singing and having a great time singing. Um, Azriel, you see actually like in different situations singing and practicing. So it, it, it's very odd that they're all of a sudden just like, well, we, we can't sing. We don't know how to sing. We don't know what our parents are talking about with the singing thing. And she and Gail asked him a very key question, like, well, if you guys aren't with him for the singing, then what what are you guys what are you with him for? And of course they say we love him and we both love them, love him and all that bullshit. Where the interview starts to go off the rails is when Gail, like all of us, wants to know, so you both are his girlfriends, but how does that work? Like, are you guys in a three-way relationship or a thruple? Are you guys have different different moments like like how does this work and as Riel instead of just answering you know no we have a separate relationship with him with him but we do all spend time together which would have been a normal response she goes into this nasty snarky diva how dare you attitude with with um Gail about well as a grown woman would you talk about your sex life I'm not going to talk about that like people have girlfriends all the time like you don't talk about your sex life and it came off very nasty it didn't come off very you know, professional, not professional, excuse me, very, you know, just an assured grown woman. She sound like a little teenage girl defending something she knew she had no business doing and didn't want to be asked about it, but she going to do it anyway. But I, it, it, it brought something very interesting to my attention because of course, as some of y'all have seen, Azriel goes on to just start crying and ranting and raving, almost duplicate to what R. Kelly did, did in the interview before. They're almost mimicking each other with the kind of reaction of the crying and screaming and nobody knows and nobody understands. Our parents, you know, try to, get, it's all about the money and my mom, oh, she did make one comment that really kind of threw everybody off that doesn't even sound believable, that her parents wanted her to take sexually explicit images with him, pictures with him, so that they could use it to blackmail him later. And that to me, like, it, it didn't sound believable. Other people drop into my comments because I'm all about the hate mail these days. If you believe, if it's unbelievable to you, let me know. But to me, it sounded like that was pulled out of thin air and it just sounds so awful. Like a lot of the accusations against R. Kelly. If they'll believe that, then they must be able to believe this. But what I really wanted to talk about, and this draws me back to my Michael Jackson video, is I feel that Azriel Clary and Joycelyn Savage are going to be Wade Robinson and Jane Safechuck 20 years from now or maybe 10 years from now and I, I wholeheartedly believe that I believe these girls are saying it now because they don't understand the abuse they're going to they don't understand what's going on with them they think it's love they think they're in this relationship with a celebrity and they don't see what's going on but in 10 years from now they're gonna open their eyes and they're gonna see and they're gonna wanna speak out. Maybe possibly after, if R. Kelly happens to pass away, they're gonna wanna speak out. The problem is with them being a Jane, like James Safechuck and a Wade Robson is that no one's going to believe them. No one's gonna believe them. They're all gonna say, you know, you're just trying to damage his legacy. Why didn't you say this years ago? You know, where, where were, were all these, you know, you're upset and sad about what happened to you and no one understood you 10 years ago. And that's what's gonna happen. And it's, it's really, really sad. And, you know, like I said in my previous videos, abuse survivors don't immediately always understand that they've been abused. They sometimes think it's love. And I feel like these girls are both being controlled. And 
I hope their families, when they watch these videos, don't just say, okay, fine, we're done. I hope their families realize that in about 10 or 15 years, these girls are going to be in a very damaged state and they're gonna need their families more than anything in the world. And I hope they're there for them. But it was, I mean, if we're going off just straight entertaining, I mean, it was an entertaining interview with Gail King and those two girls. I mean, my mouth actually dropped when Asriel got all snappy and they were talking about their families were trying to get money. I was like, oh my God, like y'all just threw your parents under the bus. That That's crazy. So, you know, I, I, there's one more part to this interview. I think they're going to show the entire thing, like a whole segment, either tonight or tomorrow night. So I'm looking forward to seeing that because I want to see everything, not just him ranting and the girls ranting. I want to maybe see some behind the scenes of their lives together. But other than that, that's my review. Drop that in my comments. Let's get the conversation started. Please be nice to each other and to me. <laughs> uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Find me on Twitter at Kia Giovanni. No, find me on Kia, Twitter at Kia Shakur. And then find me on Instagram at I am Kia Giovanni. All right, latest.